Okay, so let's take a look at Logic Pro and Multitracks. If you're already using Logic, this might be a helpful video for you to kind of see how we put uh, audio in from different sources. If you're new to Logic, this would be a perfect introductory video to show you how easy it is to put stems and audio content into Logic and uh, play it back. So I've got the stems here for the multi-track for You Are Life by Hillsong, and I downloaded these from the Praise Charts website. I've also copied the folder here onto my session drive that I take with me, uh, just to ensure that I have all these files with me at all times. So let's go ahead and open Logic Pro. And the first thing I want to do when we're inside Logic is I want to go to the Preferences, and under the General tab, uh, are actually the advanced tab, make sure all of these options are enabled. You can do enable all or make sure show advanced tools is there. Um, just in case you want to do some extra special editing or manipulation of the software, um, I like to have everything there just because I'm kind of a control nut anyway. Okay, so let's create an empty project. So up here under file, we're going to say new from template. And we're going to select empty project, okay? And before we go any further, let's take a look at a couple um, things. So I know that the stems are gonna be 115 BPM and I'm assuming it's 4-4 time. So over here in this dialog, we can say the tempo 115 and it's already set on 4-4 time. You can change the values here if you wanted, key signature, time signature, etc. Okay, so once we've got that dialed in, let's go ahead and select choose. So Logic is creating an empty uh, project for us with no audio in there whatsoever. There's no tracks. Um, and this little dialog comes up. This is where you can select, well, what type of a session do you want to build? In our case, we just want audio. And you, the number of tracks here in this box doesn't matter. So we can just click on Create. It will add one track in there, not a big deal. Um, but that is just fine. So let's go ahead and do a file and let's do save as. So let's create the session and we're gonna go over to the right directory into my little demos category and logic and we're gonna do you are life. I'm gonna call it demo just for us today. Okay, so now we've created a uh, a blank template, a session we've got it in a folder on our drive that we want to use. So now we're ready to start adding in the audio. So what I like to do is add the original audio. So I've got iTunes right here and I have the original uh, demo. So let's go ahead and pull that up. So here's You Are Life from the Hillsong Project. I'm going to actually land that right on that first track that's there. And we're going to leave that just for a second. Um, I want to grab the other stems as well. So let's go to our folder here. These are all the stems that match the recording. And I can just drag and drop these and let go of them on the first bar. So I want to create new tracks and click OK. And Logic is importing all of the stems uh, for <clears throat> for the project. Let's go ahead and just mute everything real quick. I want to make sure the original audio is lined up. So I want this first bar right here to line up on beat one. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and then make sure this region lands right there on the beat. Okay, so we'll listen to that in just a second. So let's unmute everything else. And let's mute this one just for now. I'm going to go back to the beginning. And here's the, uh, here are the multi-tracks. Intro, two, three, four. Now I will bring up the original audio First. as well. You have come and we have found so I've got everything lined up. Um, I like to just have the original audio there with me so I can compare and kind of uh, hear the voices and all that stuff just for synchronization purposes. Okay, so a couple more things you may want to do. Uh, you can get rid of this uh, inspector window. We don't really need to see that. 
Um, I'm going to leave the demo muted just for right now. Um, the next thing I want to do is probably rename the stem. So I can double click on the title here on the left. And I'm going to say demo. I'm going to hit tab to go to the next field. So this will be AC guitar, bass, click, cues, drums, EG1, EG2, effects, pad, perk, piano, synth. Okay, so it just cleans up those titles a little bit so they're not quite so huge. I'm going to hit X to bring up the mixer. And so I see my titles down here are a little bit more concise on the bottom, right? They don't take up, you know, five miles of <laughs> space because they're just huge. Um, the other thing you may want to do is kind of move these tracks around. So a lot of people like to have their click up toward the top. Uh, I may leave my demo on the very top. Um, click and cues are going to be up here. So let's go ahead and go. Oops, sorry, let's go back to the beginning. Um, okay, so one thing I want to do now, if this is helpful for you, is to create some arrangement markers. So there's a global area up here, and this is enabled because we enabled all those features, right? So this will show up. Um, I want to create an arrangement. So let's zoom out just a little bit. Um, I have some key commands that do that, but you can also do the zoom out controls up here on the on the top right. You can slide these around and make stuff you know fatter, skinnier, whatever works for you. Okay, so to create a section in the arrangement, let's hit the plus sign. I'm going to do this a couple times, and what it does is it adds some uh, eight bar chunks. So let's back up just a little bit more. Okay. So I'm going to pay attention to what's happening down here in the cues area. I know this first section is just going to be the click in. So I'm going to actually title this You Are Life because that's the title of the song. And then right between these two regions, there's a little, it looks like a, an eye with arrows on either side. So that means I can move the space between those two marker sections. Now I'm looking to these bars right here. So the vocal cues will land on the downbeat of one bar before the next section. So I know that the next section is going to start at bar seven. So I know this section is going to be intro. And I know this section here, we made it really long, but let's uh, shorten that up. That is going to be verse one. Okay, so I'm going to do this a couple more times. So verse one, and I know this is going to go, I think the next section will be pre-chorus, and then this section will be the chorus. So I'm double clicking here. Now if you click on that title, um, it only gives you these options unless you click rename. Just a faster way to get to the renaming title is just to double click somewhere off of the name. So this is uh, chorus. Okay, now we can just double check our work here. I'm going to click right on this part and hit play. Pre-chorus. So here's a pre-chorus section, and it should say chorus. Chorus. Okay, what I want to show you with this feature is not so much the markers, although it is cool if you create arrangement markers here. You can move these around and actually cut up the song. So if I move this over to a different area, it'll splice the audio automatically. I don't want to get into that right now, but maybe that's something that would work for you um, down the road. So let's just leave it as is. The one thing that's cool over here in the marker lane is I can click on this and select create from arrangement markers. So instead of recreating markers, I can create them here automatically to just match whatever was in the arrangement already. So that's a quick way to kind of just navigate around uh, Logic Pro. And here's all the stems. We're just kind of backing out here so you can see everything. And then I can get rid of the mixer by hitting X. But that's the quickest way to play uh, multi-track stems inside Logic Pro. Send me a message if you have any questions at david at davidbowercreative.com. And for sure, visit my friends at praisecharts.com for anything related to charts, uh, chord sheets, rhythm charts, 
Uh, we have a variety of, of audio tracks available as well as a whole library of tons of multi-tracks. I invite you to check that out.